tutorial. Uh, in this one, uh, we're gonna actually going to start the Python and the Python scripting. Uh, I won't be going into the basics of Python or uh, uh, Python and Blender, but uh, there's loads of tutorials on the internet for that. Uh, in this short tutorial, we're actually just going to set up the environment for scripting in Blender. Uh, so this is the default scene with the default cube. Uh, to go to scripting, you can either split the window, uh, split the area here, and then uh, in this, whatever it'll be split here, uh, just uh, click that little tab and then open up the text editor, or you can just go to scripting uh, from here. Here's the interactive uh, console for Python. It's a good way to test small things, if they exist or not. So you can just, the BPY module exists, uh, time is working, and so forth. We won't be using that. We're going to be concentrating here in the uh, text editor. Uh, so I'm going to hit new, and we're just going to rename the script something useful. So test.py. Remember the py extension, otherwise it will be a text file, I think. Uh, so py extension is important. Uh, we're going to just try the simple print, you know, hello world. I mean, what's a scripting tutorial without that? Uh, that might be a little dark. Or you might not see it well, so I'm just going to go change themes. Uh, change theme, just to file user preferences, uh, hit the themes tab. And then from presets, pick any one of these. Yeah, I'm going to pick this one. Easier to see, probably. Oh, and if you want to save the theme, because when you shut down Blender and open it again, uh, you will still have that the theme you had before. You actually have to press Save User Settings. Uh, but that'll also save whatever you're doing now. So it'll actually, every time you open Blender, you'll see this. Um, so the best way to, to change a theme is just hit New. And once you have a new, um, a new startup file. See, it's just it's gone back to the old theme. Now you can actually use your preferences. Blender 2.4, and then save user settings. All right. So let's actually get started. New test dot py. And what was that print hello world? So uh, to run a script, uh, go under text and then run script, uh, and then you'll get something here saying that it's running a script. If there's any errors, it will it'll say here. Um, you might be wondering where the Blender console window's gone. Uh, they've hidden that under window. Uh, just press window and then toggle system console, and then you have the output. Uh, this is just me changing the themes, and that's Blender starting up. Uh, so that is the console window where you'll, where you'll get all the outputs and error messages. Um, don't close it, just minimize it, because if you close it, uh, all of Blender will actually shut down. So just go ahead and minimize that. Um, now what we'll do is we'll change this little tab down here into a logic editor. So that's our development setup. I'm going to go ahead and just start importing the modules that we need. Always need the logic. And then uh, we're also going to go ahead and import events as well. Uh, here's where the keys are held. And logic is basically just connecting all to these actuators and sensors, having all that. Uh, I'm going to define a main method. I like to do this, keeps the code clean, and then I'm going to have at the end, I'm just going to have it run the main method. Remember, if you define a method, you actually have to uh, call it, to call the method later. Uh, inside this method, let's try that print hello world again, or we'll just say in main. Um, now, if you go ahead and run the script, you'll get an error message. So, oh, what happened? Let's go. Look at the console. There's no module named BGE. Um, this isn't that big. Uh, BG is is actually called when you hit P. So when you when you actually enter the game engine and you run the game, uh, that's when a BGE is called. This is now. 
and then it'll just say Blender Game Engine started and Blender Game Engine finished. Uh, to attach a script to any object, say this camera, right click on the camera, select the camera, and add a sensor, uh, an always sensor, and then the controller should be a Python controller. Go ahead and select, uh, link those two. Under script, select test.py. Uh, now when you hit play, uh, P, um, and then escape to get out of game engine, you'll actually see that it started and then it ran this code here in main, and then it finished. Uh, so that's that is the basic uh, environment I like to work in. Uh, later on, we're we're gonna add in the next tutorial. I think we're gonna add some controls to this. So WASD to move, and then later on we'll add the the panning, sort of detecting the edges, and then moving it left and right. Uh, one last thing before you actually go ahead and close, uh, it's important to save the script. So right now it's not saved. Uh, you have to save the script somewhere on your computer, so you always have it. Uh, but this is what we're going to be working with. We're going to be working with the logic events, and then a main method where we'll just run all the code. Um, and then from there we'll just build up the RTS, uh, getting into the movement. Um, of uh, getting to movement and then uh, nav, nav mesh we don't need to code all the um, algorithms for pathfinding uh, the new blender actually has nav mesh controls and pathfinding built in uh, so that's it for this tutorial in the next one we're going to start off uh, with this setup here logic and events imported with a main method and then we're just going to add uh, movement to the camera alright see you then